Okay, so we now have the full details for the LR gods as well as the LR Super Saiyan 4s. A big, big shout out to Minato's Flash on Twitter for posting these translations. I really appreciate it. And uh, <laughs> I gotta say guys, I quickly looked over everything before I started the recording and I'm not really sure how to feel right now because not only do these units seem absolutely absurd, you know, like just next level power creep, which I guess was to be expected, but I'm not even sure if I fully understand exactly how they work, because if my interpretation of what is written here is correct, then they're just way too busted, like it just doesn't really make sense. So. We're gonna go through it, and uh, I'm sure you guys will understand exactly what I'm talking about. So, starting with the Tech LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan God Vegeta, their leader skill is Power Beyond Super Saiyan, which is their new category, or Movie Heroes. Uh, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, so 170% across the board. If Kamehameha is included, plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30%. So if I'm if I'm reading this right, if I'm understanding this correctly, uh any unit that is in either power beyond Super Saiyan or movie hero and is also in the Kamehameha category is getting an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% from the leader skill, which means that they're getting E plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 300%. 300 percent. 300 per no, 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 hold on, no, no, no that's wrong. <laughs> it's not that crazy. 200 percent. 200 percent. Still wild. Still by far the best leader skill we've ever seen in the history of this game, right? So, unless I'm misinterpreting it, unless I'm just not reading this right, it's 200% right for any unit that's in Kamehameha and also movie heroes and power beyond Super Saiyan. Wow, I mean, if it was just 170% across the board, that would have been already amazing. But now it's 200% for some units under this leader skill. So that's already very impressive, I would say. 12 key super attack, raises attack and defense, causes colossal damage, so infinitely stacking attack and defense. Same thing with the 18 key super, raises attack and defense, and causes mega colossal damage. Passive. At time of first appearance, plays special animation once only, so that's the uh, animation we saw in the uh, login movie. And then uh, guard all attacks for one turn. Attack and defense plus 77% for 7 turns and key plus 1 with each uh, type key sphere obtained. Attack and defense plus 120%, key plus 1 with each key sphere obtained. Chance to perform a critical hit plus 7% with each rainbow key sphere obtained. Performs an additional super attack when key is 20, uh, 20 or more. Attacks effective against all types when key is 24 or more. So basically, they get an additional key plus one for every type key sphere, so just non-rainbow key sphere. They get an additional key plus one for every key sphere period obtained. So you're basically going to be getting 24 key supers all the time. Like they get so much key for just key spheres, you know, like basically like three key, if I'm reading this correctly, three key for every type key sphere. So like, yeah, 24 key supers will be nothing. And if you get 24 key, you're getting attacks effective against all types, you're getting an additional guaranteed super attack, and you're also getting an additional 7% crit chance with every rainbow key sphere, so up to an additional 35% crit chance with 5 rainbow key spheres if you get that, which obviously is not super common, but still. Um, and then yeah, 120% attack and defense, 77% more uh, for 7 turns, guaranteed guard for the first turn, uh, infinitely stacking attack and defense. Can't forget about that. There's just so much going on here, man. There's, there's there's so much going on here. And then their active skill is a transformation, of course, into Super Saiyan Blue, Goku and Vegeta. K 
can be used when four or more turns have elapsed from the start of battle once only. That's it. That's it. Just four or more turns. Super, super simple. I love that. Uh, links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Warrior Gods, Godly Power, prefer, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Fusion, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Transformation Boost, Movie Heroes, Join Forces, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card, Time Limit, Master Devolution, Fused Fighter, Power Beyond Super Saiyan. So, there you go. That is the Super Saiyan God. Now, let's move on to the uh, Super Saiyan Blue. Right, yeah, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku and Vegeta, which looks like this. Right, that's the Super Saiyan Blues. So, they have uh, 12 key super, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage. 18 key super, massively raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage. And this is the craziest part. Nullifies enemy actions for one turn. Nullifies enemy actions for one turn. So, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> exactly. What does that mean? Does that mean you're essentially not allowing the attacked enemy to do anything? Like you're basically like, yo, you can't do any. You, you, you're 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 done. Like you're 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 not allowed to play the game anymore. If if you attack like I don't know, like a Vegeta, or you attack like a I don't know, Omega Shenron, whatever, right? You attack s some enemy unit, some enemy that you're facing. And they just can't do anything if you 18 key super them? Is that what it means? Or is it just like they can't super? Maybe maybe it's a seal. Maybe it's like sealing. But what does nullify enemy actions mean? Like I don't I don't really understand. I'm gonna interpret it as like my interpretation would be that it's a seal. It's very similar to a seal effect, right? So maybe they can still normal attack you, but they can't super you. So maybe that's a little bit less crazy, but that's still amazing because you don't have to ever worry about taking supers then, right? Like that's, that's still really, really broken. Um, but if it's just like straight up stunning them, you know, if it's like this, a similar effect to just like not allowing them to do anything, then that's way too busted. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I don't fully comprehend exactly how they work. I need to like see them in action. But uh, you guys, maybe, maybe you guys have some different ideas. Let me know in the comments what you think nullify enemy actions mean. But to me, that sounds like you're not allowing them to do anything, which would be like a stun, right? But I think that's way too busted. So I'm going to say probably more similar to a seal. Uh, moving on to the passive, attack and defense plus 177%. E plus one with each type key sphere obtained, a chance to perform a critical hit and evade enemy attacks by 7% with each Rainbow Key Sphere upturned. So essentially up to 35% crit chance and up to 35% uh, evasion chance with Rainbow Key Spheres. Up to, once again, so it's uh, 5 max, right? Attacks super effective against all types when key is 16 or more, and then performs an additional attack uh, when key is 20 or more. I believe this is an additional super attack. I think it's a guaranteed additional super with 20 or more key. And then medium chance to perform perform a critical, medium chance to evade enemy attacks. So medium chance usually is uh, 30%. So if you add that to the potential 35% here, they get up to, I guess, 65% dodge chance, which would rival AGL UI Goku, if that's the case. The uh, active skill is uh, a super attack style active skill. Can uh, It causes ultimate damage and performs a critical hit for one turn. So it's going to hit really hard, and it can be activated when HP is 50% or less, or there is one enemy whose HP is 50% or less. So either it's your HP 50% or less, or the enemy HP 50% or less, and then you can use the active skill, which is, once again, very good. Like, these active skill conditions are both amazing. And the links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Warrior Gods, Godly Power, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And uh, that is, those are rather the details for the LR gods. Just, what can I say? <laughs> it's it's stupid. It's it's really stupid. Like how how broken they are. Um, but I'm I'm spending too much time here, guys. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna you know be here for too long. So let's try to get through the. 
Super Saiyan 4s, starting with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, and then moving on to the uh, Gogeta. So the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta leader skill is Fused Fighters, which apparently is just like all fused units, all fused characters in the entire game. Or GT Heroes, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 170%. And once again, if Kamehameha is included, plus an additional HP, Attack, and Defense plus 30%. 12 key super raises attack and defense, causes colossal damage. 18 key super raises attack and defense and causes mega colossal damage. And uh, passive is at first appearance, plays special animation, which is what we saw in the login movie once again. And guard all attacks for one turn. Attack and defense plus 77% for seven turns. And then key plus one with each key sphere obtained. Attack and defense plus 120%. Key plus one with each key sphere obtained. Chance to perform a critical hit plus 7% with each rainbow key sphere obtained, performs an additional super attack, an additional super attack when key is 20 or more, and then attacks effective against all types when key is 24 or more. So, very similar to the uh, uh, God Goku, God Vegeta, but as with these um, Duel Dokkan Fest, you know, the anniversary Duel Dokkan Fest, the two units are usually very similar, so that's not a surprise. Um, active skill is a fusion, can be used when 4 or more turns have elapsed from the start of battle once only. Links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, GT, Saiyan Roar, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Fusion, Shadow, Dragon Saga, Hero Saiyans, Kamehameha, Giant, 8 Power, Final Trump Card, GT Heroes, Time, uh, time Limit, Accelerated Battle, Battle of Fate, Fuse Fighters, and Power Beyond Super Saiyan. Next up is the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage. 18 key massively raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and nullifies enemies' actions for one turn. Again, with the enemy action nullification, I I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds it sounds crazy. <laughs> it sounds really crazy. Passive is attack and defense plus 177%, key plus one with each key sphere obtained. Chance to perform a critical hit and reduces damage received by 7% with each rainbow key sphere obtained. Attacks super effective against all types and medium chance to uh, perform a critical hit, high chance to perform an additional super attack, and then high chance to nullify and counter super attacks with tremendous power. So a high chance, a 50% chance to um, essentially like stop and counter all super attacks it looks like not just you know key blast super attacks or uh, physical super attacks or whatever all super attacks high chance to nullify and counter with tremendous power which is something that we've uh you know grown to love about gogeta units and then uh the active skill condition is the same can be activated when hp is 50 percent or less or the enemy is 50 percent or less hp causes ultimate damage and performs a critical hit for one turn. Guaranteed crit. Links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, GT, Saiyan, Roar, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So, there you go guys. Um, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, LR Blue Boys, LR God Goku and Vegeta, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. Those are all their details. They're all stupidly broken. That's all I can really say right now. They're easily the best units in the game. No question, best units in the game. Now, before we go, let me just quickly cover the details for the side units, because I uh, didn't talk about them before. We are starting here with the uh, STR Broly, which is going to be, of course, the side unit on the Blue Boys banner. So his uh, passive, we only have the passive right now. Actually, we probably have the full details, but the passive is the most important, so let's just go over the passive. Uh, attack and defense plus 180% plus an additional attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack. Disables enemy's guard when collecting two or more key spheres. Performs an additional super attack when collecting six or more key spheres. When target enemy's HP is 80% or less when attacking, attack super effective against all types. And then recovers 26% HP at the end of turn when receiving an attack. Uh, yeah. Pretty wild. That's 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 pretty wild. I would say. I mean, he's gonna get some stupid attack, like like just like ridiculous high attacks. That um, he's gonna have some very good defense as well. Looks like, 
and then also additional guaranteed super with six key spheres and also attacks effective against all types and then a crazy amount of healing like 26 percent hp after receiving an attack that's more than a quarter of your hp that he's healing for so like nothing too crazy in terms of like special effects or anything like that but just i mean big numbers like big attack stat big defense that and uh for sure big healing so that is the str broly and then on the other banner we're gonna be getting this uh sin shenron tech sin shenron so his passive is attack and defense plus 100 changes at random type of key sphere to rainbow key spheres plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 percent when attacking when collecting two or more key spheres plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 percent when attacking when collecting three or more key spheres plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 percent when attacking when collecting four or more key spheres disables enemies guard when collecting five or more key spheres high chance to perform a critical hit when collecting six or more key spheres plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% when attacking, and high chance to perform an additional super attack when collecting 7 or more key spheres. And of course, he makes it much easier for himself to get more key spheres just by being a uh, rainbow orb changer, so it's easier to connect the key spheres when he's on rotation. Uh, how is this a side unit? That's all I gotta say. Like, how 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 is this not like a do new Dokkan Fest? Like, this could be a Dokkan Fest in Genron, and people would be like, okay, that's good enough. That's good enough, right? So, clearly the power creep with this release, man, with this anniversary, is just off the charts. Um, I think that much is obvious. And, yeah. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about all this. I'm trying to wrap my mind around it man I'm just having a hard time like really taking in how broken everything is everyone is in the celebration so it's gonna take a while to really come to terms with it but <laughs> that's it guys that's gonna be today's video thank you so much for watching uh, the banners are officially out now so I'm gonna post this video and then go do my summons um, Good luck on your summons, guys. You'll hope you pull both LRs and the side units, uh, you know, with with ease, and uh, have fun with them. So yeah, as always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, yeah, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.